My name is Frank Kanshi. This is The Wave. As Thailand has its 30th Prime Minister, Mr. Sita Tawu Singh, in place, economic challenge seem to be very important for the next government to take over with immediately. Per Thai, as the ruling party proposed to provide 10,000 baht via digital wallet in six months and increase minimum wage by 2027. These goals are very, very ambitious, but is that too far fetched? Joining me now is Mr. Kun Sana Ong Un Bong Kun, the chairman of Thai Chamber of Commerce. Great to have you on the show. Well, thank you, Kun Frank. Yes, it's really important, right? Because right now the global market seems in slowdown, and in Thailand, the domestic market slows down too. So I, I, I'm sure that I believe you talk to many uh, Thai businessmen, business leaders. Uh, what do they need the most in the first 100 days of next administration? Well, we are for very fortunate to have a new government very soon. So I think the first thing, uh, you know, uh, the Thai government has to boost the local economy. Um, number one, uh, I would say that um, also, you know, uh, have to uh, bring down, you know, the burden or the cost of living of the Thai people here. So uh, first thing that uh, we always, you know, count on the support from the new government is that how to bring down the cost of the electricity and also uh, oil prices, you know, immediately. And uh, I think it's a good news that the new uh, ruling party, you know, Pua Thai, uh, always said that, well, they will keep their promise and, you know, we'll try to take a quick action on that. Then about uh, the boost to boost the economy, I think immediately we have to you know uh, uh, get the tourists to come into uh, to visit to Thailand, and especially uh, this year we target to have about 28 to 30 million, and well with that we set a target of five million from China, but so far uh, we could. Uh, have uh, only 1.8 million Chinese tourists mm. uh, that coming to Thailand. And we try to find out, you know, what's the reason behind and what is the challenge. Uh, I think the area that we have to, uh, you know, uh, to facilitate uh, the visit or traveling, uh, you know, of the Chinese tourists to Thailand is that the e-visa you know, very inconvenient, and it takes a lot of time as well. And then uh, they also cannot get enough flight, you know, mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to, to fly in. Um, another unforeseen, uh, you know, problem or uh, in the area that there's a rumor that, you know, is, that's a, a Thailand is an unsafety uh, destination mm -hmm. for the Ch Chinese tourists as well. So we have addressed this, you know, to uh, Prime Minister uh, Seta that we have to fix this problem immediately. Mm. And um, if possible, uh, you know, uh, from I think uh, the high season will be uh, in October to, uh, well, to February or whatsoever. So, could it be, you know, a, a, a kind of a visa exemption, mm. uh, you know, for the Chinese tourists uh, to, to come to Thailand? Mm. I think that would give a big impact, you know, to, uh, to, to help, you know, the, the Chinese tourists to come to Thailand. And mm. I think that uh, we, we, we should take, you know, this uh, challenge as an opportunity. And so far, I think, um, I believe that you know the government and also the uh, all the agency concerned, they should uh, you know keep this kind of uh, same support mm. you know uh, on this area. That's many good points that you raise here. Actually, you talk about cost of living, energy price. Of course, that's uh, Prime Minister Ta has to deal with immediately in the first 100 days. And you talk about misinformation too, as Thailand is an unsafety country, but actually it's not, of course. So that's the misinformation exactly. that uh, Siddhartha Wei Singh's administration yes. should take up with. You had 
dinner with him on Tuesday night. Uh, have you raised this point to Siddhartha Wissing and his team? How about other guests? What do they share? What do they share on the dinner table there? Well, uh, we talking about the shortage of water because El Nio, you know, that uh, we uh, how to you know deal with it. Mm. And especially uh, one of our friends from uh, WHA uh, mentioned that if without any you know, uh, preventive measure, uh, there, could, there will be, not could be, there will be a shortage of water in the eastern uh, seaboard or, or in the uh, EEC area mm. next year. Mm. So this is a very, very serious. So I think for the present government, should you know try to uh, I, I mean uh, take this opportunity that the budget you know that already set from the last government mm. you know in the pipeline that we should uh, try to you know uh, 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 boost you know and inject this kind of uh, budget you know to spend on uh, I mean, preparing the water reservoir mm. or, or, you know, the infrastructure that is already set uh, in the budget, but is still, you know, pending, no action as yet. Mm. So immediately this government should, you know, set up a, a, a target and uh, have the, this spending to, to be made within this year. That will be another factor that we mm. can really, you know, boost the local economy because you can increase the employment you can also you know have a preventive measure you know to get uh, the water you know uh, enough supply yeah. there's there's the environmental impact from of course to the economic growth because as what you said, of course, the shortage of water really affect the influence of EEC, Eastern Economic Corridor. So that's why your friend WHA Group, of course, proposed to uh, start our thing to keep water enough. That's yes. the good point. Yes, that's not only, uh, you mm. know, in the industrial uh, area, yes. but, you know, uh, like Kun uh, Supachai mentioned about the agricultural mm. area as well. It's very important, yes. you know, the shortage of water and also, you know, how to increase the mm. productivity of, uh, you know, um, the, uh, I mean, um, our farmers to be a smart uh, farmers. All this is, is, is very important. Mm. We touch on also the education. Well, because of now uh, in the digital, you know, uh, mm -hmm. generation. So how we can uh, groom the young since they are in the high school, you mm -hmm. know, to become a global citizen and, uh, you know, uh, talking about the AI and mm -hmm. we, 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 we have talking uh, many things, you know, in order uh, to boost the short term of the Thai economy and also the long term strategy for mm. the country as well. Very good point there. And you talk about digitalization here, so that's why I have to, I have to ask this question to you. Yes. 10k baht via digital wallet. This is what a Thai citizen looking forward to receive, to mm. looking forward to use. Um, I get some news articles say that actually this policy will implement, be implemented in six months. Um, do you think it's visible, feasible? Is it possible at this point in six months? Well, we hope that it's, uh, it could be possible, mm. but uh, we are also concerned because, you know, the blockchain uh, is quite new for Thailand. Mm. And uh, take six months is, well, if they could do it, you know, that uh, could be a, a big help, you know, uh, for the Thai economy. According to our Thai Chamber University, Thai Chamber of Commerce uh, University, we predict that if, you know, digital uh, wallet uh, project, that could uh, generate, you know, mm. a new uh, revenue, you know, uh, for, for uh, let's say, over 50, 50 million of uh, Thai people. That would generate about uh, 560 billion baht, you yes. know, to the Thai economy mm. and uh, could 
uh, help you know to boost up the uh, GDP to about uh, three percent uh, up you know from the normal uh, mm. econ economy. Yeah. Yeah. Three to two percent up is yes. really a boost, right? Very yes. big boost there. Yes. Um, because actually, yesterday uh, in, in my program, I talk about it too. Uh, the budget and the law limitation there would be the difficult part for Sita Tawising to get across and to cooperate with Bank of Thailand too. That's the point. Um, thank yes. you for, of course, GB3 3.3 percent uh, is yes. a very big boost. Yes. But there's another policy draws people's attention too. It's a, it's increasing the minimum wage to 25k by yes. 2027 in four yes. years four years do you think what should the government do to reach the target because some people criticize that okay thailand is not ready for that but another side say that okay sit out can really achieve that goal so what's your opinion well it's subject to that you know the uh Kun uh, task government, you mm. know, can boost the GDP of Thailand growth mm. uh, to, you know, minimum of 5%. That mm. will be, you know, quite possible. Yes. But however, talking about the minimum wage, we have to admit that the private sector, we have no objection. We support, you mm. know, that there must be an increase of the minimum wage. But that's uh, what we call a tri-party, you know, we have a mechanism, you know, to consider and to justify, you know, which minimum wage mm. uh, would be uh, applicable or reasonable for different provinces in, in, in Thailand. So I think if uh, we uh, go through, you know, this kind of mechanism, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, the minimum wage, you know, will be uh, justified to all parties. Mm. Yeah. And actually, I talked to Japanese Chamber of Commerce, President yes. Noriaki Yamashita. He yes. told me that Thailand needs a gradual change rather yes. than drastic change. So yes. it depends on the economic situation. It right. depends on the economic growth of right. from the private sector. Yes. Um, La next que question I want to ask about FDI, foreign direct investment. Of course, we see the record right now. Um, in the first seven months, FDI has dropped nearly 20% on year on year basis. What, what's the FDI, the foreign investors move right now? Why they drop their investment in Thailand in the first well, seven months? I think the uh, slowdown of mm. the, uh, you know, the world economy and um, especially, you know, Thailand, uh, there's an a election. Uh, so uh, people, you know, are reluctant we call wait and see, mm. especially before the election. Uh, that's a big number, you know, from the foreign investor, you know, uh, uh, shows express their interest, you know, to, to, to invest in Thailand. I could say that our friends in BOI and also EEC, they, they said, wow, that's very busy, you know, every day there's a lot of, uh, you know, foreign investor to approach them. Mm. But uh, during the election and after the election, everything so quiet mm. because people they are not, uh, sh you know, sure that you know what will be going on with Thailand, especially mm. who will be, uh, which party will become the ruling party. Mm. I think this is the big concern. Mm. So I think, uh, at, as from now, I'm sure that you know all this. Uh, uh, it, new investor, they mm. would rush, you know, to uh, to uh, invest in Thailand. Mm. Silent is not a good sign, but right now, of course, you say political landscape has been stabilized because we see who the prime minister is. It's yes. set up, we're seeing the 30th of Thailand's prime minister. Before we end this interview, I want to ask one question, my personal question, but I want to really curious about it because you engaged with uh, Pita in Seta in yes. June with Pita and Rana with Seta. Yes. What's the difference of style and how about their policy making? What's the difference between two of these, you know, important guys in politics? Well, I think Kun uh, Pita, mm. you know, I think with, uh, I could say that young and also new generation. Mm. So uh, they, of course, you know, want to, um, 
move you know forward with the uh, Thai economy as soon as you know they can and also to you know uh, bring down you know the gap of the inequality in the society in Thailand I think this is what they really want to drive you know well for Kun uh, Setha I think they have a lot of experience you know and also the team uh, that already uh, in the politics for long so I think they would you know they have a certain policy mm -hmm. and also they what I, I would say they are the very good listener you know and they show uh, their intention you mm -hmm. know to uh, work together with the private sector mm -hmm. and and uh, our concern is only that you know the uh, uh, coalition government this time is about 11 party so it would be a kind of challenge to uh, prime minister Seta as well this time of course experience pre pre prevails this time uh, of course as what you said the collaboration with private sector is the key at this moment yes. so to bring uh, Thailand move forward and to bring economic growing in the future. Thank you for today, Kun Sanak Ong Kun Bong Kun, the chairman of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Kun Frank. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, Kap Kun Kap, Adi Kap. Sorry, Kap.